Graphics. Today we'd like to show you a little of the story about how we recently made some very special signs for National Trust here in Northern Ireland. Once we had surveyed the site, we were then able to design suitable signage and produce drawings for approval by National Trust. National Trust had managed to salvage some of the old floorboards from the recently replaced Lag and Weir Bridge in Belfast. They were keen to make use of the timber in this signage project. The timber first had to be machined down in order to remove the worn outside before we could make the arms for the finger post signs. The blank arms were fit into our CNC router to have all the lettering and symbols engraved into them. After hand finishing the arms we were then able to turn our attention to the posts. We used seasoned oak to make these and after beveling the edges we engraved in the National Trust's famous oak leaf logo. The arms were then glued and screwed in place and all the screw holes hidden using oak plugs made from the same wood. Each sign required a small plaque and we were able to use our laser engraving machine to produce the fine detail required in these before inlaying them into the posts. The signs were then given a final sanding and coated with a protective oil before being carefully loaded into our van for the long journey to Minnowburn Park in Belfast where they were going to be fitted. After agreeing the exact location of each sign with National Trust staff on site, we then use our hydraulic auger to drill the holes for each sign. Once the sign has been set into the hole, we use a special expanding post fill which creates a very secure and waterproof base for the sign. After just a few minutes, the post fill is set and allows us to restore the soil around the bottom of the sign. All that's required then is a quick tidy up and all the signs are in place ready to guide visitors around Minneburn's many miles of beautiful paths and tracks.